So we got a brand new banner coming out in version 4.5. It's called the Chronicled Wish. Let's break it down. Now, first things first, these wishing pools are split. If you're wishing for a five star character and you lose your 50 50, you'll lose it to a character on this list. If you're wishing for a five star weapon and you don't win, you will get another weapon with on that list. So for example, let's say I'm going for Eula. I am required to use my intertwined fates. Okay, you cannot use your standard wishes. You have to use your intertwined fates, the pink ones. I'm wishing on this banner. I'm trying to get Eula. I lost, right? God dang. I actually may lose my 50-50 to Albedo. Maybe even Klee, right? Somebody within this current pool. For this banner, at least. These will change. But for this current pool, I would lose to, like I said, maybe Klee, right? But because I lost, I've gained one fate point. A fate point is basically just you hit pity and you lost. So, you know, it's kind of having pity on you. The next time you hit pity, now you actually guaranteed Eula. So an example I want to bring out would be like the weapon banner. Weapon banners usually have two weapons on them. You can hit the epitomized path. You can chart your course for one of the weapons. If I want to pick the Kagura's Verity, I chart my course, it's set. You can see zero out of two fate points. Once again, fate points, losses. So I can lose early, I can lose late. As long as I lose, that is a fate point. Weapon banner requires two. This banner only requires one. So that is a nice gesture. I know at least it's a little less harsh. Now what sucks about this banner is it's just like the weapon banner where your pity carries over to the next one, but your fate points do not. So if you wanted Kagura's Verity, and let's say you lost one time, oh, that gets reset the next time. Because you, you can't have your chart set for Kagura's Verity if Kagura's Verity isn't there anymore, right? If I wish for Eula and I lose and I get Klee, well, guess what? The next time this changes, my fate points are back at zero again. My pity does stay though. So the amount of wishes that I had put on that Chronicled Wish banner will stay, but my fate points will not. And same story for the weapons as well. If I'm going for Hunter's Path and I lose and I get a Skyward Atlas, that's one fate point. If I hit pity again on that banner, I will get my Hunter's Path. So essentially it's much like the weapon banner, except you only have one fate point and obviously your pool is a little bit bigger because you have a lot of things you can choose from. And also what's very important, this is its own banner. There is no sharing with the other banners, the weapon banner, the limited banner, even though it's intertwined fates, there's no sharing here. This is its own individual banner. If you're at 55 pity on your character banner and it's limited, that has nothing to do with this banner. This is its own banner. So in a perfect world, once again, let's say you're going for Eula, and you actually win your 50-50. That's awesome. I mean, you picked what you wanted, you wished for it, and you got it. That's awesome. But you're not always gonna win, are you, right? So it's still better than the weapon banner because at least, you know, you don't have to lose two times to guarantee it. But that is essentially how it works. There are a lot of details about this that Hyoverse has actually not mentioned yet. We don't know how the four stars work, we don't know if they're going to be based off the standard pool or right, we don't know if it's going to have their own pool. We actually don't know that information. We also don't know how often this will change. Supposedly it's by the region topic. So let's say we have an Iridori festival in Inazuma. These would be Inazuma characters, you know, or let's say we have some kind of like, um, you know, Sumeru event. It would be Sumeru characters, right? So whatever it's kind of like set in for that patch is usually how it would go. So that information is kind of up in the air though. They haven't officially like announced that. So how often will this change? Will it change periodically? Is it based off the patch time? What are the four stars gonna be for the, for the weapons and for the five star characters? We don't really know. Those things are still up in the air, but essentially that is how it works. Overall, in my opinion, I'm happy that we at least have something like this because it's starting to get a little congested. There's too many weapons, there's too many characters. There has to be some way to distribute them a little bit better. I wish some things were a little bit different with it, but overall, I think in the end, at least it's something that's available to us 
if we don't have that gene that we've been going for for years or you know that Kaching or Huntress Path for example that we haven't seen since 10 hours release the things that have not been here for a long time is what Hayo is kind of targeting to be on these banners so Eula for example Albedo for example people who you don't see for a very long time weapons who you don't see for a very very long time that is what they're going for so I do apologize, we do not know all the details on this yet, so we don't know exactly how things are gonna work going forward, but as our premiere and our initial info on it, that's what we got. What are your thoughts on this? Are you actually intrigued by this? Do you think you'll ever give this a shot? Will you ever wish on this banner? Will you ever actually use your intertwined fates for this? Is there somebody you've been missing for years that you really want? Let me know in the comments below, and good luck. That'll be all for me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.